everybody. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a chit chatty get ready with me on this fall inspired look that I did. I hope you guys will enjoy it. So stick around and we'll get started. So let's get started with this little get ready with me chit chat session. I have not done one in so long and I thought yes it is time. So I've already kind of started a few little things that I kind of, these are just everyday always do things. Um, I moisturize my skin first using my Olay H Defying 2-in-1 uh, Anti-Wrinkle Plus Serum. I really love this because it's got the serum built in, soaks right in and I just absolutely love it. I've also moisturized my lips, um, I always do that. I've been using um, the Milani Lip Oil and this is the um, Repairing Primrose and I'm going to put just a little bit more on because my lips are very dry right now. Um, next up I used my Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. This is number 100 Blur and Smooth. This is one of my absolute favorite primers. I really, really love this one. I do have some correcting that I need to do. I have like this little spot right here in my eyebrow. It was probably a tiny little pimple, but I'm a picker. <laughs> I will be the first to admit it. And so it's now it's a big old honkin' red spot with a little scaly scabby. And right here, I touched the curling iron to my forehead. I've done that my whole life. I've never learned. So anyway, to do that little bit of correcting, I'm gonna use my NYX Dark Circle uh, Corrector Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. I'm actually gonna pull it out with a brush um, just because it's getting deep in there and um, I don't want it to get under my fingernails. And then I'm just gonna kinda tap it on those little spots. I, don't know, I might be a little red through here. A little bit. I usually don't do much color correcting um, or concealment like that. It usually just doesn't, I don't need to. So I'm gonna tap that on there and tap, I might need just a little bit, just a tiny bit more up here because that's really red. I really didn't notice it till the other day and I was like, what is that flaky thing on my forehead and I picked it off. Again, I said I was a picker and I admit it. Anybody else out there a picker? I know you are. It's okay, this is a safe place. I won't judge. So now to move on to my foundation, I'm gonna use what's been my favorite combo all last month. And here I'm still pulling it into this month, but it is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have the Matte Plus Poreless and the Dewy Plus Smooth. My shades are 332 uh, Golden Caramel, and 240 Golden Beige, um, respectively, in the Matte and Poreless and the Dewy Plus Smooth. Um, they're basically both the same color. I think this one just tends to be a little bit, almost more yellow. I know it's kind of hard, like even looking them in the package, but it does. I think it carries just a little bit more yellow, um, but more neutral yellow, and this is a little bit more warmer yellow, so it really kind of works for me as I'm going through this transition phase of what color am I today. So now we're just gonna dot that on and I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Expert face brush to blend that everywhere. First say Expert face brush. Miracle Complexion Sponge. And then just kind of rub a little bit down my neck because see I'm starting to get into that what color am I phase. Okay now I'm going to do a little bit of concealing but at the same time I'm also going to prime my eyelids. I just like to do this step because I kind of like to set the primer on my eyelids even though I don't really feel you definitely need to set this with my skin type but uh I just always do. It's an added benefit then I don't have to worry about it later if my eyelids decide to crease or something. So for concealer I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio. I'm in the shade medium. And for my eyelid primer I'm going to use the e.l.f. Eye Primer and Liner Sealer. I'm going to rub some of that off. I'm going to paint that across my eyelids. And for the concealer I'm just going to take a dot. Just like that, just one little bit of tiny dot on my ring finger. Mix it between the two, and I'm gonna feel. Now I'm feeling kind of nostalgic today for some reason, so I'm gonna set that um, kind of half baked, but not really, um, with my Cody Airspun. So I'm gonna generously tap that under my eyelids using my Elf Small Tapered Brush. And I'm also gonna run it on my eyelid too to set that. Um, primer. So 
So I mean, I'm putting a generous amount on, kind of tapping it on. And by the time I'm done doing that, I just come over here to this eye and sweep away any excess. So again, I'm not really baking, I'm just really setting it in there. Next, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I'm in the shade 230, which is Natural Buff. And this is probably one of my favorite face powders. It's really, really good. Got a little bit of coverage, but at the same time, not too much. And woo, see the pan on that? I, I pan these. I probably panned four of these since these came out, no kidding. Um, but I just like to dust it like right here on my T-zone. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I kinda like to give that time for my foundation to really set in. So I'm gonna be using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I know eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. But can I at least try and look like they're in the same family? After I shape and color them in, I'm gonna use some of the Essence of Make Me Brow and Brownie Brows just to kinda help fill in. In a little bit closer I'm gonna go ahead and move to my eyes I had to pull my hair back I'm like hot flashing or something so for today's eye look I'm gonna go with my uh, modern renaissance um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette it is uh, my love love palette and just has such great colors in here that really scream fall to me you know deep reds and cranberries and oranges so we're gonna play with this so I'm gonna start off taking warm taupe and just run that through kind of the crease transition area. Next I'm gonna take Primavera and I'm just gonna pack that all over both of my lids. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of burnt orange and I'm gonna work, I'm gonna tuck that deep into the crease. See, I really like that. And I'm going to kind of blend that just a little there. Not heavy. I'm going to go into the shade um, Red Ochre here because it's just such a really good deep cranberry shade. And I'm going to pop that right up in there. So I'm going to take that same brush I cleaned off. And I'm going to tap that right here on the outer corner first and then pull it up. Kind of almost doing that whole outer V. I'm going to tap that here on the corner of the lid. And you see how that kind of makes that V shape there. Looks a little different on camera. I'm going to take just a tiny little tap of warm taupe. Teeny, teeny, tiny tap. And kind of blend that out a little bit. Kind of really helps soft focus that up. So now I'm going to go back in with Primavera again. And I'm going to really pop that on the center of my lid. Now I'm going to run back in here to um, Tempera, which is this light shade up here. And I'm going to kind of do my upper brow. I think this is calling for some wings. So I'm going to take um, my Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is my little sample I still have that I'm using up. And I'm going to do just little tiny baby wings. This stuff is effortless until we get over here. <laughs> now we have to work. I will say to any of my girls that have um, crepey eyelid texture, because I do, this stuff is amazing. Give it a try. See, I was always on the fence about trying it or not, but then it came in my Sephora play, and I was like, where have you been? <laughs> you know? And it said, sitting on the shelves of Sephora, dummy, waiting for you to come by me. If you're new to doing wing eyeliner, stop. <laughs> you know? If you're looking at it and you're like, oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, oh, hold on, that looks off. No, 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 no. Stop what you're doing. Walk away from it for a second and then take another look. Like, step back and look. Because otherwise you end up with like wings. Wings. Like back wings. I'm gonna do so a little bit of work on my lower lash line. I just wanna make sure this is completely dry before I go in there because I'm gonna deepen up that outer corner a little bit and pull some more. So to deepen the lower lash line, I'm gonna go up here into the shade um, Cypress Umber and just drag that just like on the lash line. Like I'm following the lash line, I'm not really smoking it out. 
Yeah, I'm just kind of wanting some definition down there, but not too much and not too heavy. I'm gonna take my little tiny smudger brush here and I'm gonna take just a little tap into burnt orange. This is just the e.l.f. $1 smudger brush. I love this thing. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly go over that where I just put that under. Again, I'm not really wanting to smoke it out. I'm just wanting some definition in there. Now that I'm pretty satisfied with how the lower lash line turned out and up here, I'm gonna deepen in just this outer corner a little bit where our wing is. I'm gonna take a little bit of Cypress under, Umber, not much. I'm putting it on my little um, It Cosmetic Smoky Liner, any little pencil or small brush you have. And just on that outer V, basically, I'm gonna follow the piece of that wing right there. And just doing a tiny, tiny flicky taps in there. Flicky taps, that's a word. You heard it here first, folks. Flicky taps. See, just to add just a little bit of depth, building it up nice and slow. Gonna go back in for another tap of red ochre, just to kind of help blend these two together now with a little bit of that cypress umber. Just really wanted to darken that outer corner. Now for just a little bit of subtlety and a little bit of warmth at the top of the lid here, I'm gonna go into one tap of the burnt orange. And I'm using my little um, e.l.f. Uh, crease brush. This is kind of, I think, a dupe for the, um, the 216 by MAC. You know, it's just a little tiny wispy brush at the top. Just one little tap of burnt orange and I'm just gonna go over the border. So just like this. Just a little back and forth motions just at the border. And I think that is what finishes it. That, just that little tiny bit of attention to detail. And I am using what I finally got to open because I went through my other Lexi, the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I got this in Ipsy. Let me tell you guys, so far, it's fabulous. know how well that picks up on camera guys okay see eyelashes where are they at there they are oh my gosh this mascara is freaking amazing watch bottom lashes no bottom lashes wait one moment okay even with the heavy liner underneath are you seeing this I mean look no mascara mascara I am sorry, I am hooked. hooked. So now we're gonna go ahead and do blush and contour. And for contour today, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Uh, contour kit. I'm gonna go down into the deepest shade here. I'm using my e.l.f. complexion brush, so I'm not really gonna sculpt too heavily, just kind of, you know, what I do. Then I'm gonna kind of take a mixture of the two, the lighter and the darker, and go up around my forehead, my hairline. Take a little bit more and Try and get rid of some adult chin. Go up my nose just a little bit. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the banana-ish ish color. And just right in here, I feel like I'm a little dark. Probably because it's still being sick. I'm a little sallow right there. So just a little bit. I think that's kind of helping brighten that up some. And then I kind of want to clean up the edge over here just a little bit. So I'm gonna take that same shade again on a flat concealer brush and just kind of sweep right underneath my wing. Just try to get any excess shadow that went in the zone where I don't want it. Now we're gonna go into some blush. For that today, I pull out my oldie, but goody gosh, this is one of my absolute favorites. This is the e.l.f. Uh, blush in Blushing Rose. Just a perfect, I think, fall color. I love it. Love it, love it. They say that it is a dupe for NARS of Dolce Vita. Then we're gonna do a little highlight and I wanna go kinda subtle. So I'm gonna pull out my um, Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And then I wanna brighten in my inner corner a little bit. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that with a little tiny detail brush and hit the inner corner of my eyes. Little hidden secret. Gotta put back on the mold that I just covered up. All right, now let's do some lip color. Gonna go in with my NYX in um, Butter Gloss and Raspberry Pav Loba, one of my absolute favorites. I 
Then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of setting spray. I'm still using the um, Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist from Hard Candy. So this is it. This is my finished fall look, or fall inspired look, using nice deep dark fall colors. Um, I really like that. I really enjoyed doing a little chit chat. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done one, so that was a ton of fun. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to comment, like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.